the president and CEO of Vintner, Dennis Young, back with us. And Dennis, I know you have a few parting thoughts you wanted to talk about on today's uh, panels. Well, I'm just impressed that you were able in two hours to cover the range of topics and the number of people that you spoke with. I hope the listening audience learned something from from all these points of views and the, and the topics. You know, the one thing I do want to mention, uh, some of these are pretty timely topics, and uh, one is on the TIF. Um, if, if they're at all interested in supporting the TIF bill, which is House Bill 1236, they should contact Robert uh, Viscovo, who is the majority floor leader, and, uh, and simply say, look, move this bill to the House floor for a vote. You don't have to say you support it, you don't support it, just get it on a vote. Because it's so important to have them vote one way or another. This has a big impact on on schools. That number is 573-751-3607. And I mention that only because sometimes legislation gets moved and then it stops. And then it gets changed and other things get added on it. This is something that they ought to just act on and get it done. Whichever way the vote goes, they ought to get it get it done so i'm not supporting it one way or another on on what i'm saying here but it is important to education uh to have uh uh, the legislature uh weigh in on it and i think it's it's important to note as well as some of our panelists did earlier they're not talking about killing off tiffs no they're they're not talking absolutely not we need economic development certainly do and some communities need it a whole lot more than others they have a track of land they need some uh, developer to come in so it's just trying to have that voice with the school district and and Make sure you understand the the repercussions of those TIF decisions. And just this last minute that we have together, uh, talk some about the vision that we've talked about all morning long today about education into the 21st century. Well, you know, you you hear a lot on the radio, and and it goes to deaf ears after a while. I I know when I listen, you know, I hear the same topic over and over. But in the business community, I am just amazed at the companies are looking for employees with skill sets that they can't find. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how long your resume is, how many jobs you've been at, what your title's been, not important. It has to do with what are your abilities in terms of your collaboration, the creativity, your ability to solve problems. And um, when you come out of school, as I have (laughs) throughout the years, you know, you you come out thinking a certain way. But the the people that are interviewing for new employees for these cutting-edge companies they're 28 year olds. Yeah, and they know what they're looking for, and the and they don't go through the uh, human resources department. It's one on one with whatever the the division is that you're being interviewed for. So it's really fascinating to see. You know, you, you wouldn't know it unless you were there to see this. You know, the startup companies, uh, the high tech companies, and all these technologies are converging and are making a real change. And we don't want to lose traditional jobs. We want those jobs, those skill sets, to move into the next jobs. And we just have to understand what's happening around you. Well, thank you once again for sponsoring Issues in Education uh, from Edgar Architects. And it has been an absolute pleasure being a part of the, uh, being moderator of the panels today. Thank you very much for the opportunity. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.